Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voice of artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is February the 16th. Today is Wednesday. I'm super excited to come to you and talk to you about the topic of your website. Do you need a voiceover website if you are a voice actor? We're going to talk about that today. Real quick, before we get to that, Make sure you check out the link below for the um, uh, Elite Academy that we have. We meet five, time, uh, five times a week. If you're new, you're starting out, you're trying to get into voiceover, this academy will absolutely change your life, uh, help you take years off of your journey. So I highly recommend it. You'll find the link below. And we're running a special right now, half off the first month. So um, moving on, do you need a voiceover website? Okay, I want to talk to you about this because I see a lot of confusion with the voiceover website, uh, with figuring out exactly what you need to do, um, and should you have one, how, what should it be, what should you expect from it, how big should it be? So the answer is yes, you should have a voiceover website. Let's Let's put the argument to rest right now. I firmly believe you should have a voiceover website, your own website, with your services on it so that you can sell your services to other people besides just being on a platform. However, it is important to note that you are not going to get any business through your voiceover website unless you build out a robust website full of lots of pages, lots of categories, all right, lots of content, or you market that website through voice ads, uh, SEO, you know, things that you're going to actually drive traffic to your website. And it needs to be able to, uh, you know, take orders or at least you know have an easy line of communication. This is really important, and I think a lot of people get up a, a nice looking website, but there's no, um, you know, it, it's it doesn't flow very well. You know, it's very challenging. So this is really important for you to understand that your website is vital to your voiceover business, but at the same time, it's important to note that if you don't have it set up right. Okay, if you don't have the categories, if you don't have pages, if you don't have blogs, if you don't have all of these things that's going to give you authority, which will then drive traffic to your website, you're not going to get any business from your website. Okay, but you know, so that that's something that I think is often confusing and not actually talked about very much in the voiceover community, you know, especially from places that, uh, you know, get uh, that, that, that offer to help you set up a voiceover website. Okay. Um, but this is important. And it's important to note that this costs money, not just to set up the website, you know, and to get that rolling and, and to host it and everything, but it costs money to do these things or an extreme amount of your time and effort, and effort in learning, especially if you were like me, I didn't know anything about SEO or how to do any of this stuff. So I had to learn, I had to teach myself. And then I had to find programs or, you know, website designers or, um, you know, uh, platforms that hosted your website that gave you easier ways, you know, of, of setting it up and things like that for me to be successful. Okay. But the secret to all of this the secret to all of this is you creating enough content on that website to be found, to be found through Google, to be found through social media, to be, you, you know, you've got to be found. All right. So if you're on other platforms, you know what I mean, where you're trying to sell your voiceover services and you should be these days. OK, um, you know, you'll notice that those websites drive traffic to your gigs, your offerings, your services through the just insane amount of pages. Because you've got to think, every time we go on these platforms and create a page for ourselves, it adds a page to that platform and, and it builds their authority, right? And the content on the page is built in a way to where it, it it's, it's very highly um, looked after by Google, right? And they're running insanely, insane amount of ads. Now, remember, we don't need the... Uh, ridiculous amount of traffic that these 
websites are getting to come to our website because we're only one person. But you've got to understand that you've got to do more with your website, okay, than just put up something and, you know, something's going to magically happen. Okay, there's got to be a lot of content and meat to your website. I'm going to talk a lot more about what to put on your website and in uh, episodes coming up, you know, but it's important to note that I do believe you need a website no matter what. But I do need but I do need you to understand that the website itself is not enough. You've got to do a lot. You've got to put a lot on that website in order for it to make you any money for it to bring anybody to come to you. Right. Um, because there's so many out there and there's so many, especially if you're just starting out, there's a lot of domain authority out there. Now, you have to understand, too, that it's going to take you a while. OK, but I don't want you to like here's here's the thing. Don't shy away. I don't want you to shy away from doing you know, me personally. I don't want you to shy away from doing your website. OK, you know, some people will be like, gosh, it's too much. And, you know, maybe I don't want to do it right now. And you, you know what? You don't have to do it right now. But eventually you're going to want to have your own website. OK, that's that's just the way I, I think it's your brick and mortar online business. Do you know what I mean? And you're going to want that validation. You're going to want to build that out over time. So I always say put 80 percent of your effort towards the places that are going to make you money right now and 20 percent of your effort building the backside of your business like your website. All right. All right. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, please leave your comments below and any questions that you have on this and how your website is going and what's happening with your website. Also, don't forget to forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It always appreciative. And you have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye.